Okay, so today po ang topic po natin is correlation. Ginagamit po natin ang correlation kapag gusto nating malaman kung may relationship yung dalawang variables. Okay, sa so correlation po, may tatlo tayong tinatawag na correlation tools which is Pearson's R, Spearman, and Kendall. Ang most common po is itong dalawa. Yung Pearson's R po is yung general lang na uh, gagamitin mo kung hinahanap mo may relationship yung dalawang variable. Tapos ang Spearman naman po, ginagamit siya kapag may indicated na na ranking. So, ito po yung formula natin to get the value of R. Sa correlation po, may tinatawag tayong direction of correlation. Ilalagay ko po ulit sa dulo ng video mamaya. Ito pong nakikita natin yung indirect correlation na sa negative, pag naging sagot po ng value of R is negative, is indirect correlation. Then kapag positive naman po is direct correlation. Ito pong negative and positive is na determine niya yung nature of correlation. Kapag naman po yung mismong value na po yung pinag-uusapan, yung number na po, ayun po yung tinatawag natin ng strength of correlation. So, dito po, unahin natin um, negative 0.75 bago mag negative 1. So, kung napapansin nyo po, hindi siya 2. I mean, hindi siya dash. Hindi ko siya nilagay na dash. Nilagay ko is bago mag. Kasi, dapat ay hindi kasama yung mismong negative 1. Bakit po? Kasi po kapag kasama yung negative 1 or yung mismong value ng negative 1 and mismong value ng positive 1, ang tawag na po doon is perfect correlation. So, para po mas maintindihan nyo to is nilagay ko na po dito. Negative 0.75 bago mag negative 1 is very high. 0.75 bago mag 1 is very high. Negative 0.5 Bago mag negative 0.75, ibig sabihin ng bago is 0.749. Ayan po yung bago mag negative 0.75. Ayan po is moderately high. Next is negative 0.25 bago mag 0.5. So, ayan po yan. Ito po yung bago mag 0.5. Ayan, 0.499. And for the last one is 0.2499 bago mag 0. Kasi pag mismo yung 0, ibig sabihin is there is no correlation. Okay, so paano po pag ganito yung given? A sample of 6 children was selected. Data about their age in years and weight in kilograms was recorded as shown in the following table. It is required to find the correlation between age and weight. So, ito po yung table na given. Makikita natin yung serial number, age na nasa years, and weight na nasa kilogram. So, nakita nyo na rin po yung formula kanina. Nilagay ko rin dito para hindi kayo malito. Makikita natin dito sa formula na hinahanap yung summation of xy. So, para hindi tayo mahirapan, ilagay na natin dito yung x, y. Next, ang hinahanap is summation of x squared. So, ilagay na rin natin dito yung x squared, then y squared. Makikita po natin na dito is hinahanap yung summation of x, which is this, x, then summation of y, na ito naman po. So, para mahanap natin yung summation is ipag-a-add natin. Okay? Unahin po natin yung x. 7 plus 6 plus 8 plus 5 plus 6 plus 9 is equals to 41. Then, for y, 12 plus 8 plus 12 plus 10 plus 11 plus 13. So, kung napapansin nyo po, nag-compute compute ka agad tayo. Mas inuna kong mag-compute para isa-substitute na lang natin ito mamaya ng sabay-sabay. Okay, so next one is xy, which means x times y. Okay, 7 times 12, 84. Next, 6 times 8, 48. Okay, 
8 times 12, 96. 5 times 10, 50. 6 times 11, 66. And 9 times 13, 117. Hindi ko po pala siya natapat, no? Pero mas ayos sana kung magkakatapat para hindi na tayo malito. Okay? Next is, nakalagay dito sa mission. So, kailangan ipag-add natin ito lahat. 84 plus 48 is equals to 461. Next is x squared naman tayo. So, ito yung x. Ibig sabihin ng x squared is 7 squared, 49, 6 squared, 36, 8 squared, 64, 5 squared, 25, 6 squared, 36, and 9 squared, 81. So, kailangan din ng summation nito. So, i-add na natin ngayon pa lang. 49 plus equals to 291. The next is y squared. 12 squared, 144, 8 squared, 64, 12 squared ulit, 144, 10 squared, 100, 11 squared, 121, then 13 squared, which is 169. Add ulit natin sila. Same process lang. 144 is equals to 742. Dahil nakuha na po natin lahat ng kailangan, substitute na natin yung mga na-compute natin dito sa formula. So, N is number of respondents. So, to get the number of respondents, bilangin nyo lang po itong sa serial number, which is, ibig sabihin lahat is 6. Okay, so 6, then summation of xy, which is 461. Ayan po, yung kinumpute kanina. The next is minus summation of x, this is 41. Then summation of y, which is 66. The next, we have n ulit, which is 6, number of respondents. Then summation of x squared, this is 291. Minus, okay, so summation of x, which is 41. Then squared, then n ulit, 6, summation of y squared, which is 742, then minus the summation of y, which is 66, and then squared. Ngayon is, ikokompute na natin ulit. 6 times 461 equals to 2,766 minus 41 times 66, 2,706. Now, we have 6, 6 times 291, 1,746, then, Minus 
41 squared, 1681. Then, dito na tayo, 6 times 742, 4452, minus 66 squared, which is 4356. Okay, so simplify ulit natin to. 2,766 minus 2,706 is equals to 60. Ito po yun. The next is 1,746 minus 1,681 is equals to 65. Then times... 4,452 minus 4,356 is equals to 96. Simplify na natin dito no, para mas madali. So, 96 times, 96 times 65 is equals to 6,240. So, now... Meron na tayo 60 over square root of 6,240. So now, i-compute so na natin ito. So square root of 6,240 is 78.9936763. Simplify again. To simplify this is 60 divided by 78.9936763 is equals to 0.75955425. So, we round off na natin. Ito po is equals to 0.76. So, ngayon po, bumase na tayo dun sa kaninang binigay ko sa inyo na direction of correlation. So, ang 0.76 po is pasok siya dito. 0.75 bago mag-1, which means the strength of correlation is very high. So, ilagay po natin, very high. Now, let's see. The nature of correlation. So, to get the nature of correlation is mag-focus po tayo sa sign. Ang nakuha po natin is 0 0.76, positive 0 0.76, which means this is a direct correlation. So, ito po ang ating final answer. Very high direct correlation.